Hi everybody. Today I'm going to cook nimona, uh, which is uh, made up of uh, peas, and uh, it's basically Eastern UP dish. It's prepared during the winter time because that is the time when uh, peas are in bulk, so you can buy it and uh, uh, cook it. So the main ingredients are for uh, tarka, we should have uh, cumin seeds and red chili flakes and uh, turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander and cumin powder and then garam masala powder. I have already chopped uh, green chilies, garlic and ginger. Here are some cut tomatoes and cut onions and here it is cut uh, one potato, one large potato. Another main ingredient of this uh, dish is this buddy which I have already soaked in water. You can easily buy it in any Indian grocery shop and uh, I think that's it. Oh, okay. So I have already uh, heated the pan for the nimona. I have to put a little bit more oil for this dish because um, all the peas which I have made into paste has soaked. So here are the cumin seeds and some whole uh, red chili round dried red chili and in the oil should go the vari which I have already soaked in the water you can see so only the vari not the water should go into it and it should uh, get fried in the oil see there is some water into it so I have to be very careful maybe I can just close the pan for a little while so that all this platter will be uh, protected by this lid Now you can see that the vadi is uh, being fried and in the oil you can put some ghee that is asafoetida. I think it has And little bit of it and see the buddies are uh, right now red in color so it's an indication that they are done now we can use this uh, half uh, medium size onion I have cut so it's just to taste it should not be properly cooked because anyhow we have to cook the peas into it so wait for like 30 seconds or one, one minute you can see here I have uh, I have taken almost uh, this much of peas and uh, made it into a paste it should not be very a uh, thin uh, liquid kind of paste it should be little uh, there should be some granules of peas into it but uh, I, I did not have like the traditional seal where we used to uh, do it manually so I have to use my grinder that's why you can see it's little paste but it should be little thick not I mean what to say it, it, the chunks of the peas should be there but anyhow so here, here goes the paste into the pan and you can unload the cream now because the pea should be really really cooked nicely
and into it you can now mix the ginger, garlic and chili. What you can do that uh, you can uh, grind the chili uh, like green chili, garlic and uh, ginger along with the peas. So you don't have to add it separately. So let it cook because it will take around 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, here you can add some turmeric powder. and some chili powder and let it cook for around 10 to 15 minutes it can take even more I'll show you the color and the time when it is so you can see all the water is evaporated now so now I can add all the potatoes into it Both the things will cook, will be cooked uh, simultaneously. So now you can see that the potatoes are done. They are cooked. Yes. Now we can add the tomatoes. Because if you uh, mix potato, uh, tomatoes earlier, the potatoes will, uh, would have not cooked so well. We mix it. You can see the pea has uh, now completely brown in color and it is the right time to mix the masala. Here uh, I can mix uh, coriander and cumin powder and garam masala powder and little bit of water just to mix everything really well. So it should not be very watery. The consistency should be a little thick. I'll show you a little more water. Again, give it a stir. A little more water. Yes, that's the perfect consistency of the gravy. And close the lid until it uh, the it start um, splattering. Bring it up to boil. <laughs> so Nimona is done, ready for serve. And you can garnish it with some coriander leaves. And in India, it's a perfect dish uh, with, uh, to go with uh, either roti or uh, rice. And you can always put shuddhi, pure ghee.